so welcome to the next video of this series like CRUD operation in the Ionic 4 so uh, now what we are gonna do we need to start from the new uh, for uh, the spring boot application uh, I will share the link of the video and I will share the code also of the github so that you can just set up it and you can just start but remember that one like uh, at cross origin need to be star so that it will allow the all uh, application to access this rest api and just deploy it on a tomcat server so that we no need to run it again and again from the spring boot from the sts okay so for start a new application you need to go inside the command prompt so just press the command prompt and let me stop this also like we are not required as of now here so just close it and uh, this also as we are gonna start with a new so let me change the directory and go inside the another one and you can say ionic uh, start and uh, you can say employee crud ionic okay and just press enter so here you will get the options like uh, which starter template you want so i need a side menu so i will just click on that so side menu we required here now it will uh, download the template and uh, then we can start it so as you can see the application is downloaded and uh, at the last uh, we'll get something like this like go to newly created project so just go there and we need to pass ionic serve and if you pa if you want to run on the lab like if you want to see the ios view and, uh, and android view at the same time you can do this one but i'm just going to do the ionic serve so that it will just open on my web page or like a chrome uh, on the web uh, web browser and it will uh, show me the updated thing okay and uh, we need to open this project also so go inside the visual studio uh, like uh, i am going to use the visual studio entire this uh, tutorial so go inside the visual studio and open the folder so here it's my visual studio and we need to open a folder and uh, my folder name is employee crud ionic and uh, let me see this one yeah it uh, started this ionic so will take some time to get uh, load on the web browser so this is the, our uh, application if you go in the src you will find the multiple files uh, and uh, everything whatever we want to do we are just uh, do in the app directory and inside the app we'll have the all the files where we need to do the work and uh, in asset uh, we can put uh, any properties file if we want but uh, in this video we don't want this one so this is the directory structure of the project so the ionic started now let me go inside the browser it will by default it is running on the 8100 port 
and uh, this is like uh, we can open the control like we can open the terminal also in visual studio so just uh, open the terminal because we need uh, we need to create a uh, pages and all here so yeah so just press f12 to have the console and your home page at the same window so as you can see this is the side menu project inside that uh, these are the toggle bar we have the two tabs one is the list and another one is the item sorry home page and another one is the list one so these two pages are by default there and uh, as per the project structure you can go you can see here in the home page but before that you can uh, check uh, this app.component.html the title menu as i am title as menu p title is also defined here and uh, if you go inside the app routing in dot module dot ts so all routing are defined here like on home uh, on which uh, page this uh, ionic needs to load and on the, this list routing which uh, page it needs to load and in home dot page dot html we have we will have the home page content as you can see here so we have ion card inside image then header then multiple list we have so uh, in list uh, inside list we have ion item so you can see here so we are uh, we need a page for uh, our employee details so we can uh, put in the ionic uh, g for generate we need to type the command uh, in the cons terminal so ionic generate page and page we want as uh, employee slash so we know we want uh, each and everything in employee directory and in that uh, we can say employee details okay so just uh, enter so as you can see this uh, employee details page uh, generated here and it uh, also updated one file which is the app routing module.ts and if you go inside the app routing module.ts you can see one path has been added here and uh, so we need one service also uh, for like employee service so I unique G service services then uh, I will say this one as employee okay so it will create employee services so as you can see the employee services also generated so as per the directory structure we have uh, one directory as employee in that we have the employee details and in that uh, we have the multiple pages for the employee details and then we have generated services in services we have two files so this is also done and uh, yeah so in the next video we will see the how to load the employee details from this uh, rest api like uh, i would did which one is running on my tomcat server and uh, how to load these employee details on the ionic page using http get function so please subscribe to my channel Thank you so much guys.